Alrighty. Let's see how this works out now. It is 5.30 a.m. Sunday morning on January 29th. And it's time for X comments. Hopefully I've improved the microphone situation. It still seems to be bobbing up too close to the red for my taste. It, 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 it's weird. I think that the uh, the sound uh, on um, YouTube's uh, editing channel when you upload direct from uh, webcam seems to be a little wonky when, you, uh, when you're when you dealing with the sound. Sometimes it's too soft and sometimes it's too loud like now. It seems even though I've, uh, I've moved the slider down uh, towards uh, the lowest end on um, the um, the Adobe settings that uh, the microphone still seems to be uh, really picking things up and um, so I have to be careful not to uh, redline it too much or uh, have too much of a um, uh, <laughs> distortion. So anyways, um, I'm in a weird kind of situation where I'm not really gonna be going, to, going to be going to sleep today uh, until much later on. I probably won't be getting to bed till around 6, 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, so it's going to be an all-nighter. Yeah, a full 24 hours of being awake. And, you know, it's, it, it does get a little rough sometimes doing this, but uh, uh, I got my comments out to the uh, right proper ladies. It's not only my comments; it's a gift. Uh, the right, com the right and proper ladies have a web show uh, that they do. It's a collab channel. Uh, they, I really like their channel, but they don't have anyone to do Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm filming, the, um, recording this as a. I, re I recorded. A gift for them. This isn't the gift. The gift will be coming up later on, uh, about uh, an hour or so. The uh, yeah, about an hour and a half. The uh, gift for uh, the right and proper ladies. The Sunday gift for the right and proper ladies will be up, and you'll be able to see that it's on Dreams. Uh, I'll see what they do on Monday, and whatever the topic is on Monday, I'll do the same thing again the following weekend give them that gift as well anyway is it, if, I, if I find something that I enjoy uh, I'd like to sort of uh, let people know I do enjoy it and I'll you know if they want to get something done but uh, don't have the time to do it I'm more than well willing to help out so uh, watching uh, and I'm going to prepare a comment later on uh, during the day today um, well, maybe not. It depends on uh, on my on my schedule because around seven o'clock I have to go to uh, I'm going to uh, church, but the, my church is a little different because the whole service is done in Byzantine Greek, and this is my chance to sort of uh, start picking up the Byzantine Greek. I can do the translation all right when I have a computer in front of me, and I can sit down and and study the you know go through the translations of the words uh, using uh, a lexicon dictionary or uh, Tufts University has this online service much like Google that allows you to search words and the meanings of words so that that's how I know my my Greek but when it comes to actually speaking and using it uh, there is a significant uh, deficit, so I'm taking uh, the opportunities now uh, to start learn one to start learning the language, and two, uh, I'm going to embark on a two-year study in um, ancient music, uh, music that's before 1000 A.D., and sort of look at sort of the connection between uh, what we call it village music that stretches all the way from uh, Africa into Asia and take a look at how these things have sort of been, uh, you know, how, how music has sort of developed, with a, developed in concert with cultures or 
uh, you know, in terms of cross-cultural inexperiences or independent, even though they may sound similar. So this is sort of uh, a, a, you know, a unique opportunity for me to not do to go beyond the textbook, beyond beyond the uh, the sort of the standard library experience where you re, re, look, looking through research notes and or writings from, by other uh, professors or other uh, you know because I'm looking at archaeological work and. The, the the like and, and other doc documents uh, that you primarily read. This, while it is reading, you get to sort of live it, and you get the the people that I'm sort of hanging out with. This is sort of sort of like an opposite spectrum. They're a lot older than I am. Uh, they're from these remote villages, even some of the, the remote mountain villages. This is what I spoke about in the last um, comment sex that a lot of my uncles uh, are from, are immigrants from these small villages in Greece. Some of them are mountain villages, some of them are, are sea villages, some, you know, but they are rather tiny villages. And a lot of their experiences are starting to disappear as they get older and, and, and they're starting to die now. Uh, a lot of their experiences will, will start disappearing as well. And it, it gives, it, it, along, as they die out, not only are you sort of losing them as a person, but you're also lo lo losing a lot of the experience that, the experiences that they had that we, who grew up in more of a modern society, or it, it, I would say comfort, really haven't experienced. So if you, what, you there's, there's always a saying that, you know, if you could walk a mile in another person's shoes, you know, that would really go a long way to, you know, to giving yourself a, a, a more rounded view of, of how other people live. And, you know, this is not to treat people as, as mean as, as, as we tend to treat people. So that's what I'll be doing at 7. Uh, the service, the, uh, the, the, the church service, uh, which w was written around 300 A.D., um, doesn't end uh, until about four, about no, about uh, 11:30 in the morning. That's when it ends, and so it's about three and a half, four hours in length. The it, the words and the writing, the people who wrote it, lived um, 300 A.D. It's now. 2012. Let's knock out. Let's knock out the uh, the 12 because uh, we're talking a good 17 uh, 1700 years ago. So 1700 years ago plus 12 uh, 12 years. So that's that's the uh, the di the difference between uh, that's how that's how old these texts are. Uh, and a lot of this has come in through oral tradition. Uh, What's called oral tradition. Tra oral tradition. Oral tradition is not written history, but history that is passed on through stories and um, ten, uh, essentially music. This is what would include the wandering minstrels. Um, blues has an enormous element of oral history in it. As a matter of fact, if you know, because the history of, of, of blacks in the United States I'm not going to call them African Americans like they want to be called, because uh, there are uh, Americans who are actually from Africa. The only difference between blacks and whites in the United States is that white people refuse to see black people as American. And that's still much, pretty much the case where, unless you're really a white person, you know, a European person you're not really considered to be American or Canadian or you have to be of that sort of that, that white thing otherwise you sort of you're hanging on to the edges of things even though people who want to be Europeanized or you know if, if you're f not from that that main central core that is Europe um, you as much as you want to be Europeanized or westernized you're so always so sort of sitting on the fringes of things you're never fully accepted 
Uh, anyways, uh, that's about it for today. I'm going to keep it, a, you know, I think I'm keeping it short. Uh, although I never really noticed how long I do go. Sometimes I say, oh, yep, yeah, this is going to be short. And it ends up being, you know, 12, 13, 14 minutes. So, anyways, uh, if I'm awake... And I go, I'm going to stay in the right presence of mind to do uh, more videos. There will be a show that I'll be putting up on Physics TV uh, that's called At NASA, which will review the week at NASA. And I'm aiming to work on cyborgs and cybernetics. So that's the plans for today. And I'll see you maybe in a little bit.